Another special CES coverage from Autogefühl with Thomas is here with the Mercedes Maybach S500. Fit and healthy. This is a special concept made for this Moto show. Well, this Moto Electronics show, you could say so, because when you're around here, meanwhile, you have to you have the impression it is already a Moto show, but it is mainly, of course, a consumer electronics show. But the manufacturers have taken a huge place here, meanwhile. And first of all, we start with the exterior because the Mercedes Maybach S500 it is based on the Mercedes S Class, a current one. Here, of course, with a characteristic star on the top, huge front grille with a classic layout. And we'll take a short look around the exterior and then we will go into the interior because that's the most exciting part here because they have in place now a new concept to check your well-being in a car. We'll soon come to that. First, just a short tour around the exterior. I got 20 inch rims, really huge style. There we go. And then, interesting thing is here on the exterior, we always got the long wheelbase version. You see that, that the rear door is really long. You see that like, like this, this longer here, for example. You can, see you can easily access the rear also because it's used as a chauffeur car. Then you've got the Maybach logo right here. Of course, the Maybach version is always a top high-end variant with all the equipment features you can possibly order. But other than that, it remains, you know, basically a normal S-Class. You can also see it right here with the round tail lights. Also this sculptural shape in the round style. And then you just don't have the S-Class, but here the Maybach logo as well. And it's maybe making sense if you say, I oh, just want to spend more money on an S-Class and have even something more special. So that's it for the short look around in the exterior. Let's move to the interior to show you this fitness concept. And by the way, we have seen something similar already. We have one video where um, supplier for SIA showed this seat which can watch your vital functions. And this will connect it into a real car here. And now let's get started. You see basically this is um, the S-Class interior with some special stuff fitted on for the Maybach version. And that's also the reason why they picked the Maybach for this demonstration, because we got all the features in here, for example, the LED, the ambient light, all the massage functions in the seats. And this now can be combined with this new Vitality system, which will later then also be in a different version in the Mercedes S-Class facelift. Here with all the function now, and we're joined also by Christian Pohl. He is the project expert here for the system, and he will also explain us what this car is actually able to do. Okay, uh, welcome to the fit and healthy um, project car that we built just for this fair. Um, we use many of the functions that we already have in our S-Class and we've added a lot of functions just for this fair, um, some massage functions in the seat and the sensor that senses the heart rate. If you have a look at my wrist, there is a variable and this variable sends my heart rate to the car. You can see it here on the screen. This um, heart rate is used in, uh, for an algorithm called Vitality Coach. We use the heart rate and other features coming from the Mercedes Me uh, portal, um, your daily schedule, uh, traffic information, weather and so on. And this will um, this uh, will give you a uh, recommendation for either an activation program or a regeneration program. Um, please put your hands on the steering wheel because uh, we need you to, uh, to put both hands on the steering wheel uh, because then uh, the car is able to detect your heart rate. So let's see. And uh, it's, it's this area here, right? Is it yes. uh, the, the, the aluminum area? And uh, I would just recommend you an activation program, which I will start right away. You can, you can see that the ambient lighting is switching to cool colors. We have cool colors on the screen. Uh, there is a cool breeze being sent through the car. We use the uh, perfume, the scent, from, uh, which we already have integrated in the car to activate you. And uh, you will experience some massage functions in the seat later on in the program. 
Uh, we will have the possibility to analyze your music on your smartphone. It will be categorized in three categories and uh, the program will use your music to either activate or regenerate you. So I'm feeling now um, a seat massage here as well. So the seat is also uh, vibrating, for example. And I'm also um, uh, smelling this, the scent from the, from the perfume. Spender, we, we also have in the, in the car here. So, really nice program. I think we should spend some more time here quite often. <laughs> should always have, have a concept like this on the, on the fair to relax. I'm glad you like it. Um, the vibrations that you experience in the seat cushion and in the backrest, um, these are uh, still in a research state, but we are working on integrating this into our cars later on. So for the um, for the S-Class uh, facelift then, um, I heard that the, um, the heartbeat um, monitor, which works here by the, by the, with, the, with the steering wheel, that will not be integrated yet. But uh, what uh, do you know already? What will be carried over on to the, to the facelift? So what you will see in the facelift already is combining functions that we have in the car into programs because we already have so many massage, climate, ambient lighting functions in the car but um, to make it work together and to combine it into programs that will you will already see in the uh, coming uh, S-Class this year. And I heard it's, it will be called um, I think ECC like a comfort control or something like that so you will have then uh Energize, yeah, yeah, energizing, energizing comfort, uh, comfort control, yeah, yes. Energizing comfort control, so you will have then the ACC plus ECC in the car, basically. <laughs> right, right. A lot of uh, new um, abbreviations, yeah. Um, so what is also interesting with this concept, um, we talked about it um, when we had it um, with the supplier um, already. Um, if the car monitors your, your heartbeat, for example, and the car can really, for example, put you some suggestions, know maybe when you're tired, or maybe when you're stressed, and then, for example, start those programs. Or maybe also in the long term run, the car can maybe say, oh, this guy is uh, about to get a, a heart attack, and then maybe um, apply the safety features. This again has to be cleared with um, data security and also with regulations. And um, but that's also the potential of this. Um, maybe you're thinking about such concepts as well already. Yeah, we also have a um, sensor vest over there. You can contact my colleague. He will explain you how this works. We offer this for professional drivers in buses and uh, trucks to sense uh, a coming heart attack and to um, make an emergency call and emergency braking with that. Um, Mr. Uh, Agus, he was on the booth yesterday and in the coming video he will explain us about the massage functions and the, how you can uh, stay in motion while you're driving. Hi, I'm Dr. David Agus. Mercedes-Benz has designed some amazing new features to keep your body moving even while it's sitting in the car. Why? Because our bodies were designed to move. Movement equals long-term health. In this first minute, you'll experience what we call motion seating in the driver's seat. In the rear seats, you'll experience activating massage. Motion seating gently adjusts the position of your backrest and seat. This adjustment aligns your spine and your pelvis. The activating massage works on specific areas of your back, applying ascending dynamic waves in order to stimulate blood flow. These features provide movement and stimulation for the passenger and the driver. With no active intervention, you can sit back, focus on the road, and let it all just happen. Now we're gonna get a more active workout in the car. In the front seats, we've turned on the seat cushion workout, and in the rear seats, you'll be feeling the back workout. The active workouts are based on specific activation points, activating and releasing in your backrest or your seat. You should be feeling them now in your back or your glutes. I do. <laughs> you can choose to shift your body away for each activation point, or for a real workout, push actively into each one. As the pressure points shift to a new location of your glutes or your back, try to release and then reapply pressure to each location. 
actively working against your pressure points, you'll notice that your abs or your back are being activated or your pelvis is lightly shifting. The back and cushion workouts thus activate your muscles and shift your body as you sit in the car. After all that exercise, you've earned it. It's now time for a bit of rest and relaxation. Oh, wow, that's a strong vibration now in the in the back. Maybe you can also hear that on cam uh, on, on the microphone. The vibrations you're experiencing now are like a sports massage, gently massaging your tired muscles and helping them to regenerate. No matter oh, that's, if you work that inside the car or outside the car, it's also great on long road trips. Now, let's get you activated for the rest of the day. Feel the bass of the music in your back. No matter where you're headed, there's the right song to get you charged. Oh, wow, that's also new. So this vibration mode in the seat can also be used for the music. Now the bass is vibrating in the, in, the, in the back. That's a really interesting concept. The sound massage is great for any trip and a full body experience. You can make it relaxing, activating, or just ticking along. So remember that Mercedes-Benz keeps you moving in the car and on the road. See also Mercedes-Me for beyond the car fit and healthy services. I want that bass massage for my trance songs, definitely. <laughs> What's your favorite music? Um, I'd go for Linkin Park and stuff like that. And it, the sound massage works much better, uh, or even better, uh, when you use it with your own music. Because now it, uh, we will have some music on the um, hard disk in the car. So if you don't have low BPM music to relax you, we will have it. We will uh, offer it to you on our hard disk. Uh, but if you have your own low BPM and high BPM music, we will use it for the activation and regeneration program. So I think the, the basic difference here with the massage function really, we know it that certain points are maybe pushed from, you know, also C reproduction cars, but this strong vibration, this was something entirely new and um, there are maybe sometimes also those, um, you know, special sports concepts where you can apply something like that to the body and that's now featured into a car and I think uh, this could really help also on, on long journey trips. Thank you so much for the insight here today. You're welcome. And one more look at the rear seats because the Maybach version is of course also suitable for that and the vibration massage will also work here with the back seats then. So um, the, the vibration, will that also be available then in the S-Class facelift already? Do you know that? Um, the vibration and the sensors will take a little longer than the S-Class facelift. Okay. Maybe then the new generation, but that's really a feature I'm looking forward to. So now we've seen here at Mercedes how the future maybe of chauffeur transport will look like, but on the booth they also have the future of commercial vehicles right here with the Mercedes Vision van. We had that in some preview, uh, preview videos so far, for example, it features two drones on the, on the top of the car that maybe take the last delivery to the customer directly. Interesting concept and also new concept for the inside of the car and of course you can see it, the exterior is really way different than with a current Sprinter. So talk out our preview videos from this one here as well and we say goodbye from the Mercedes booth at the CES show and I hope you enjoyed this insight. Also tune in for more coverage for example from uh, Chrysler and Volkswagen. And then later on also follow us on our Detroit Motor Show episodes. Thank you very much. With Thomas here on CS, thanks for tuning in. And also follow us further on Autogefühl. <laughs>